Ready for this? No, it needs to be up to 24. What are you doing with the tractor? I don't know how. You think you can do this? No. <laughs> All right, he's got to get it from the car to the truck. If he drops it and damages it, he owes me six dollars. Okay, guys, so today we had to go get water. Um, this is our newer tote. Big shout out and thanks to Natalie's parents, my in-laws. Thank you very much. Our bigger tote is almost out of water. And so I just wanted to show you guys real quick how we're getting water from one tote to the other. Years ago, we bought this pump to pump out a swimming pool at our old house. Um, we used this little pump to, and a garden hose to pump an entire swimming pool out because one, it was the cheapest pump, and we are frugal. And uh, two, we had time, you know, so it took a couple days, but anyway. So it's a submersible pump, not the best one for the situation. I know there's 12 volt pumps. I know there's pumps that can pump 100 gallons a minute or whatever. But we own this already. But so. we own this already. And, <laughs> and it works. And we'll let this pump and fill that up while we go do something else. And luckily, it fits just barely into the tubes. There it goes. So we'll drop that in there. And pump, start pumping. There it goes. It's about as fast as... It pumps. Going in. We're getting down to the last bit of water. We got our tote at an angle here. Put the corner on top of the spare tire to. Whoops, it tipped over. There we go. Anyway, let's get all the as much water out as we can. Whatever water is left, we'll put it in a bucket for what? Uh, concrete. Ah, there we go. <laughs> for some cement mix for the post for the solar. Yep. That's how you uh, use up a wire wheel. Waste not, as they say. Coming. You're a natural. Yeah. I'm not very fast. Good thing there's not boulders in this. I know, right? There's been barely any rocks in any of them. The ones I've ran into are like that big. Right. And that was like two or three. So we're out here today starting the next half of the V solar array. Is that what we should call it? The, the V? Sure. There gotta be a better name. The V array. The um, vaccine. Solar V. Solar V. The solar. V. Right. Solar V. <laughs> Let us know what you think about that. We we need a. I feel like we need a name for this solar system because I don't know. There's not. I haven't seen anything like it. Have you? I have not. Have you? 
let us know down in the comments. Have you ever seen an array that is southwest by southeast? Um, I've seen east and west and just south. That's what most people do, south. Anyway, the solar V. I don't know. We'll have to think about this. Why don't you work and think about it? Uh, well, I, I think better when I'm just standing around. You know, that's where I get the most work done. Is it deep enough? No, it needs to be up to 24. 24, what's it at? What are we at? 16, was it? 16. All right, so we got eight more inches. Yeah, 24 and... All right, let's do it. Ready for this? Yep. Just me and you. So we got some more holes done. Can you see them? <laughs> and we're gonna put more concrete in, get more poles standing. So I originally welded up six 20-foot uh, pieces of square tubing out of the angle iron and I've used them all up. We got these five posts right here put in this morning and uh, all I have left from what I've welded up are these pieces here that are too short. I got four posts I gotta go back here that are a lot taller, just like these four back here. So I think if I weld up two more 20 foot lengths of the angle iron into square tubing, I got this one ready to go, then that should be enough. I'm actually gonna use a couple of these to weld on to two of the pieces to uh just so i don't waste this stuff and uh that'll help get me through finishing up the back row where that string is there so let's do some welding
we're taking the scrap pieces and adding it to um, the leftover of that 20 foot piece. So this is eight feet. I'm adding basically another four feet. And the way I'm gonna do that to get it straight, these came with these little flat bracket deals. So what I'll do, center it, I'll clamp it to this side, get it tacked on, and then I'll clamp it to this side so it's flat against both pieces. Make sure they're lined up, tack it, tack it to that one, and then this one will go underneath. And then we'll weld all the way around them. We'll weld here and there. It'll be nice, strong, and sturdy. All right, I got a little clamp crazy. So here's my piece I was talking about there. It's tacked on all three sides to this uh, piece, not attached to here yet. I went ahead and got this piece of Unistrut as a straight edge, clamped on with these big ones, and one of these brackets in that pile over there that came with the scrap metal as a straight edge on this side all clamped down to make sure this thing gets welded on it straight I want it as straight as I can get it so I'm clamped in and ready to weld some more Jacob has gone into town this morning he ran out of some welding wire to finish up these so while he's gone I'm going to be wire brushing his welds and then we paint them so they don't rust and then hopefully we can get this all done today and these posts in the ground concreted we got a lot to do today hopefully we can get through it all as long as the weather holds out Jacob has been using this wire brush down to the nubs and he told me I could switch it out if I wanted but I was like oh I'll just use it he's been using it there's something about using things completely out well I'm not as strong as him and my arms got tired so I was like I wonder if this would go way faster if I had a better one so I'll put this one on see the difference anyway so much faster <laughs> so yeah sometimes it's nice to use things out but sometimes just having something that's fully functional just makes the job that much better. <laughs> so, so much for getting those posts set today. It's not looking like it's going to happen. Sure, what he's working on back here. What are you doing with the tractor? Uh, uh, I'm working on this. I don't know how. I welded this on, and uh, this top piece is bowed just a little bit this way. Okay. And I tried to bend it back with a series of clamps and whatnot, but it, it, it worked a little bit, but it didn't get it all the way straight. So I was thinking, what could I use that had a little more force? So oh dear. I'm going to push on it with the bucket. Hopefully it doesn't break my sawhorses or anything. Good luck with that. Good. Yeah. It's probably good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks. It's 
greater than four, so it worked. Excellent. Moving your, on. Your crazy ideas. Kind it of makes sense sometimes. Huh? Yeah. This morning, we're gonna try out the strength of a 88 pound man. He's gonna pick up and move this 80 pound bag of cement. Wish him luck. <laughs> you think you can do this? No? <laughs> All right, he's gotta get it from the car to the truck. If he drops it and damages it, he owes me six dollars. Oh man, don't. Oh wow. Dude, you just made that look like nothing. That is 80 pounds. It says it right there 80 pounds. And you're 88 pounds, right? <laughs> Good job. You don't you don't owe me six dollars. <laughs> the weather did not cooperate yesterday. It rained all afternoon. So we finally got all the welding finished this morning. And we're gonna try and get these holes, these holes put in and the holes filled with cement before this storm comes in. Hopefully it'll hold off for us. The rain didn't come, so we were able to get it finished. So all our posts are officially in the ground. And it was a total of 18 posts, right? Eight, was it 18? Five and five is that 10. That sounds right. Four and four is yep. eight, 18. 18 posts. Yeah, how long did it take us to do this? Oh dear, more days than I wanted it to. Probably all week. Two weeks? I mean like oh. all of them. Because I, I had to, I had to weld these all up. Right. We've been going at it about two weeks now, so. But the posts are in the ground. Now we can move on and do the next exciting part. That's running all the, the angle iron to connect them all. Will that go faster? Uh, yeah, because I don't have to make any more square tubing. Yeah, so that'll be nice. It's pretty much just cut and glue them together. With the welder, not not with glue, but welding's like gluing. Oh, okay. Right? <laughs> with with lava. <laughs> One thing about trying to save money is you got to get a little creative. So the welding took some extra time than if we would have just bought, you know, exactly what we wanted, but or well, needed. Well, these were from the scrapyard. So, right. So like buying this galvanized angle iron from the store, I can't even imagine. The How cost. much this would all cost. Right. So, takes a little longer, but we saved a good chunk of money for Stinking sure. Stinking inflation, I tell you. <laughs> 